night, about 10 o'clock, there was a lot of shooting going on. And I was over there hanging out at a friend's house about, what time? Well, I left my friend's house about 11 o'clock. And as I was walking towards the 15th, where my girlfriend stayed, I seen a lot of policemen from Central. And you know, they was like, getting their gear, their armor gear ready. Like, thought they was coming in. But all of a sudden, I just started hearing a lot of shots. So the police were shooting up some guys, and the guys were shooting right at the police, and you could hear hollering and screaming and stuff like that, and, you know. So by the time I uh, made it <laughs> to my girlfriend's doorstep, I caught two bullets. The one in the stomach, and I caught one in the side. First bullet when it hit me, I didn't feel it. But the second bullet when it hit me in the stomach, it kind of threw me on the ground. And you could just see people running and you know screaming and kids hollering and stuff. And when I hit the ground, all I could feel was bullets hitting the dirt right beside me. And so you know I was like crawling on the grass, and at the same time I'm crawling on the grass, I'm looking at my body, and you know, everything is just hanging on the outside, but it was this dude came around the building and started pulling my arm to get me off the of fire, and when we got around the corner, I kind of freaked out because another dude was running, and he got hit. I don't know where he got hit at, and he fell on the side of me. And, you know, he was, like, hollering and screaming, and I was asking, where was he hit at? And he didn't say nothing, he was just hollering and screaming. So I told him to just crawl to where he can get off the range of the bullets. And, um, after that, some girls that came by and seen us, I guess, and they put my friend in the car, and everybody was screaming out, get jazzy, get jazzy. I guess they thought I was dead because I wasn't saying nothing. I was just looking at everybody and I wasn't moving or anything. And you know, um, <laughs> it's like crazy. And then this other dude, you know, he got his face blown off, half his face. You know, I kind of went kind of crazy about that. You know, as they was putting me on the hospital bed in Martin Luther King Jr., doctors was telling me that I was laughing, but they, they was trying to see what I was laughing about. They said I wasn't myself. And, you know, then after that, I hear about my little friend, DeAndre. He passed away. He got shot in the chest. And, you know, they kind of made me kind of go crazy, right? And now it's like, it's, it's, like crazy when I wake up in the morning and I look at my body and half of my testes is hanging out. You know, it kind of bothers me a lot. You know, just to wake up and see something you haven't seen before to your body. And, you know, you try to just hang in there and just go through with it. And it's like I used to be a happy person, you know, to everybody. Now it's like I got a lot of anger. You know, I can't function right now. You know, somebody could say like, what you doing, uh, or say something in a tone of voice and don't be mean and I get mad. Stuff, I get a lot of anger. And, uh, you know, it, it makes me sit back and think about a lot of, a lot of people that got shot and a lot of people that's gang banging, you know. I used to always, I used to always wanted to see how, how I feel to get shot. And you know, now, since this is my first time getting shot, <laughs> it ain't a happy feeling.